thank you for your protection, Lord. We thank you. I ask right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would be with Pastor Green as he teaches our Bible study. This is Burning Bush Worship Center located in Norfolk, Virginia. We thank you for our lovely First Lady, Vicki Green, and we just ask, Lord, that you be with every one that comes online and participate in the study of your word. We thank you for being God and being God all by yourself. Amen. 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 We bless God. Amen for being here tonight. Uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be amongst a kept people. You know Amen. what I mean? A, a kept people. Amen. Amen. And uh, even in our reflection tonight and the lesson that God has for us, it's just going to remind us what kind of keeper he is. It's just going to remind us that we're kept by the best. Amen. Mm -mm. Amen. Amen. It, it, it said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Mm. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. And uh, mm. that's that's a great place to start tonight. Um, I think Pastor Stanley was going to be on. Are you out there, Pastor Stanley? He may not be on yet. I see a couple of people on mute. I'm not sure if he's one of yep. them or not. Yeah, there? Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes. Same How y'all doing this evening? We're doing good. We just sit here getting high. We're, 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 getting, we're, we're getting high off our own supply. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we get high, high on, <laughs> on our own supply. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one, Pastor Green. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> amen. 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 So uh we'll go into the uh sermonic review from Sunday. Uh the topic was now I know without a doubt, and it's coming from Acts 12, verses 6 through 11. Amen. Somebody want to read it for me? Acts 12, 6 through 11. If not, I can read it. I got it in the NLT. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. Hmm. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, quick, get up. And the chains fell off his wrists. Then the angel told him, get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me, the angel ordered. So Peter left the cell following the angel. But all the time, he thought it was a vision. He didn't realize it was actually happening. Mm. They passed the first and second guard posts and came to the iron gate leading to the city. And this opened for them all by itself. Mm. So they passed through and started walking down the street. And then the angel suddenly left him. Verse 11. Peter finally came to his senses. Mm. It's really true, he said. The Lord has sent his angel and saved me from Herod and from what the Jewish leaders had planned to do to me. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Elder. The topic was now I know without a doubt. All right. What did you, did anybody get? I know you guys got something from this uh from this topic and this message. Feel free to speak and uh, let us know what you got from it. It, it made me think about uh, when Pastor Green was talking, I think it was toward the end about mm -hmm. we, we've been set free and delivered, but it's like, it's like you don't really realize it. You, mm -hmm. you don't really realize what you're walking in. Mm -hmm. And it just made me think about <laughs> One time I was talking to Pastor McNair when he was still pastor, and I said, I just wish God would deliver me. 
I'm like, Lord. <laughs> so it just made me think when he when Peter was out there, mm -hmm. you know, already delivered, already <laughs> but it, it didn't register to him what had happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Pastor Ben was preaching on that part, that, that's my takeaway. Amen. Amen. You know, that uh like you just said, knowing that you've been delivered from something, going into that situation, it, you you aim to handle it different. You aim to look at it different because you know that you already delivered from it. That you already got that you already have the victory in it. But sometimes you just need that reminder, right? <laughs> you know, Pastor Stanley, uh, I know you weren't able to make it Sunday because we, you and I had talked mm -hmm. when I was studying this lesson. Yes, sir. Your face came before me and God was showing me when I was focused on the now, you know what I mean? The now. And, and, and it was like, you have to know based on everything that's happened and you and I have talked. Yes, sir. And now you know that it was the angel of the Lord that he sent that angel to bring you out. Man. He sent it to Man. bring you out. You know what I mean? And 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 when we look at what the angel did, he led him out. Mm -hmm. He woke him up. And he woke him up. And he pretty much told him to get prepared to leave. Oh, glory to God. He <laughs> said, put on your shoes. <laughs> See, there's preparation before you come out. He didn't bring him out barefoot and naked. He said, put on your shoes. Mm. You know what I mean? Then he turned around on Cecilia. He said, and put your cloak on. See, y'all don't know Peter had a cloak. Oh, glory. <laughs> Woo. Mm. And Pastor Stanley, you have a cloak mm. that mm. God has put on you called Pastor. Mm. Jesus. You know what I mean? And, and you had to put that cloak on. Because there's a lot of things you could have said, and there's a lot of things you could have done while sure. you were in the phase of coming out. Yes, sir. Because of what you were wearing, glory to God. See, I didn't have the opportunity to tell you Sunday because you were there. Mm -hmm. But God allowed me the opportunity not to tell you because of you, what you were wearing and what you were walking in, those sandals that God put on your feet. Hmm. Hallelujah. That you were able to have the preparation mm -hmm. come out the right way. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. And, and, and I would say, I bless the Lord for being able to wake you up. Yes, sir. You don't know when they sleep. I'm telling you. <laughs> you're not talk, and you're going through motions and you're going through I'll call stuff and, and you're going through it and everybody's wondering why they're going through that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you're going to go through it until the angel wakes you up. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's quick. Get up. Mm -hmm. This is the moment. This is the time. See, everybody else would think you should have done it a long time. Why he ain't try to get away sooner than that? Why he ain't try to leave sooner than that? What? Because God has a time. Oh my God. After the point called preparation, <laughs> where he brings you out. So no matter how bad it was, if such thing is coming out too soon. Amen. Amen. Because that heat and that fire that's on your behind is there to prepare you. You can't take a, a cake out of the oven if you're cooking it at 375 before the appointed time. Mm -hmm. It's going to look like it's done. Mm -hmm. But then it's going to start to sink on the middle. <laughs> My and God. It'll, tell you, it'll show you how undone it was. Because you were just taking a look at You were caught up on what it looked like. It just looked like it was ready to be cut. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> Glory. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, Pastor you. Green, you, like you were saying, it's one thing to know that you're going through stuff. And there's another thing to know that you're going to come out okay yeah. because you know yeah. who's with you. You right. can rest right. in it. Right, right. I, I mean, and that, that was the point. Peter was asleep. I mean, and that was the point. He was mm -hmm. asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory. For everybody out there that's having problems sleeping, you need to take a lesson from Peter. Mm -hmm. He was asleep waiting to die. Mm. Wow. If I live, I live. If I die, I die. I'm going to sleep. But he was resting. Because I know it's not in my hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's amazing to see oh, the conversion is. of Peter. Because you, you think about Peter in, in that particular setting, but you think about him before. Mm. He wasn't, he was, he, that conversion started, but it seems like he was convert it right there because you're able to sleep and you know that you might die tomorrow like how many people can do that yeah 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 but but, but remember the garden y'all mm -hmm. i think i mm -hmm. see and i was talking about this the other day i believe remember the garden yeah. when jesus said peter the devil desires mm. to sift you mm. as wheat wow now you listen to that now Mm -hmm. Sift you. That means he he desires to separate you. Mm -hmm. That's what sifting. You see, we, we don't understand that the devil's mission is to separate us from our calling, to separate mm -hmm. us yes. from what we're supposed to do, to separate us from our assignment, and in some cases, separate us from the church God called us to serve in. Oh, wow. Jesus. wow. Yeah. My God. Because you've been sifted. Oh, Jesus. But then, but but then also, Pastor Green, Go ahead. also when it when it says that um, God woke him up and told him to put his coat on, that was to say, you now have what I've given you to do. Mm. Now it's time for you to do it. Mm. Walk with me. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. See, there was a shift Jesus. that comes mm. after the shift. See, the mm. enemy's job is to sift. Jesus. But it's God's promise to shift. Wow. Yes. I said promise. Yes. But that ain't a maybe. That ain't an if and a but. That's a promise. He said, He said, I have prayed for you. Come on now. Jesus wow. pray wow. for us. At the end of Luke, and he began to say, Father, these that you have given me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You know what I mean? And he prayed for Peter. He said, I prayed for you that what? The devil have you what? Not. In the story. Mm. If Jesus prayed that he have you not, guess what? He can't have you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sleep. sleep with your mm. mouth open. Mm. You know what I mean? If Amen. You want to. Kat, I'm looking at your name on here and I'm telling you, go to sleep and rest. God got a job for you. God got a passion Amen. for you. And you're going to get up in the morning Amen. smiling and grinning saying, I'm going to work. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. God got Hallelujah. it. Mm. He Amen. got it. Hallelujah. You can sleep knowing that he gonna slap you. Wake up, cat. Rise. Amen. Put on your clothes. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, Amen. glory. See, I, I get excited about that. Because maybe ain't nobody ever been in a situation where they need to get woke. Mm -hmm. And they need to come Amen. out. Yeah. And then he said, he said, after thou are what? Converted. Convert. Yeah. Mm, yes, yes. Jesus knew that he needed a transformation. Wow. Yes. Wow. The sifting's gonna come, but I promise that it won't, it won't, it won't destroy you. But after Amen. you go through, after you go through, you're coming out. Thank you. 
And he said, after that, I'll convert it. He's, then he, what, what did he say? Strengthen your brother. And see, that's oh, where wow. we stop sometimes. Because after we convert it, we don't want to tell nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after we convert it, we just got a few people we want to let know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because didn't nobody know I was going through anyway. Mm -hmm. But there's only two or three people I'd call when I'm up late that time of night and can't sleep. Mm. But you can't convert nobody. Wow. Mm. Closed mouth don't get fed. Wow. Amen. You know what I mean? We got to be able to speak truth to power to tell somebody that you don't even know need to hear it. Mm. That's our job. Amen. He said we, we overcome by what? The blood of the lamb. And I was the word of our testimony. So why are we so quiet about our testimony? We think the blood is going to do it all. That ain't the prescription God gave for us. That's what we want to do. But God said, no, no you got a part in this too. Because I didn't save you so you could be saved. Oh, not, not. Well, we, we got that in the lesson tonight. I didn't bring you out so you can come out. You just think, so you could come out? No, I didn't bring you out so you could come out. Strengthen your brother. I brought you out so you yeah. can bring somebody else out. So we mm. think so selfishly mm. that we so anointed and appointed that God wanted to save me. God didn't want me to be destroyed. Yes, but not for you. Mm. Mm. For his purpose. You ain't that cute. You ain't that pretty. You ain't that bad. And you ain't that anointed. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta save you, <laughs> Jesus. It ain't for you. Hallelujah. Somebody lied Hallelujah. to you. Yes. He brought you out. So after the mm -hmm. Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall be what witnesses. 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 Hallelujah. We like some of the witnesses we see on, on TV, on the news. We're the worst witness in the world. Even I witness. <laughs> Can't even tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I get excited. Pass the to take over. I'm good. Let me shut up. I'm, sit down. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I get excited. I just get excited because it, God has prepared the way for us, mm. but we want to choose our own course. Mm. Wow. But, but we know He is the way, the truth, and the life. Why would we choose any other way? Why would we try to deviate from what he said? Anyway, and back Pastor, in the hands of Pastor Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Green, now that you said that, <laughs> and we need, we have to know his voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very we got to know his word. Yeah, yeah. his word and Amen. his voice because yeah. he was fastened between two soldiers. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Why they didn't hear it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're we're going to discover. It. <laughs> okay, I, I they weren't dwelling in the secret place. Yeah, we, we, yes. yeah exactly. And and part of that's going to come out tonight because this okay. one, this one, Peter's first rodeo. Okay, okay. So this um, like for some, of, this like for some of us, we've been through some things before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And. uh and, and like I said, I found the research. I went in digging. You know, I get curious. <laughs> and I found that they were not asleep. The purpose for them having that many guards was so they rotate so they wouldn't get tired. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they would only rotate three to four hours at night. And they would extend it during the day to six-hour rotation. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 So, so you're going to answer my question. What? <laughs> it was the miracle. And that was what I said yeah, the, the, uh, the other day. The, the miracle of the whole thing was all this happened with the God standing right there. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the eyes ooh, open. Ooh, that, that's, that, that's, that's peanut butter <laughs> jelly right there. See, see, God can deliver you with your enemy's eyes wide ooh. open. Wide open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they can't, and, and they can't even glory. see 
They can't even see you coming out. <laughs> <laughs> they can't oh, even man. see it, and you don't believe it. No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> rejoice, oh, rejoice in the Lord. Mm. I say, and then again, Hold I on. say, mm. rejoice. Is it Lord. really happening? <laughs> yeah, you got to rejoice. It, it, it oh, had to look like it wasn't happening because the soldiers weren't yeah. moving. Hmm. The chains fell off. He got up, put his shoes on, put his cloak on, put his clothes on, and got to walking. Walked out the cell. They got God standing at the cell, wide awake, and they kept on walking. Walked Amen. past the first guard, past the first guard post. Guards in the guard post. They mm. kept on walking. Mm. Passed by the second guard post. Guards in the guard post. They kept on walking. Mm. Got to the iron gate, which is guarded as well. Gates open up. The gate just opened by itself. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Mm. And they said, look, there's an open door. Oh, no. <laughs> what a oh. mighty God we serve. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, see, some of us wouldn't have been as, as casual to do the walking. We'd have busted our running. You know how we do. <laughs> <laughs> we would have took our running and left the angels. The angels would be like, hold oh, no. up. <laughs> you ain't got to run. Uh, ain't just run. follow me. Well, maybe that's yeah. why he was in that dream state till he got yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just seemed like a dream. Ooh. It just seemed like a dream. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, that's why I shared the testimony when I took my breathing test last week. I, I got excited. I, I'm looking at the graph. You can see the little the, the device you're blowing, and you can see the, the line where it goes to. I, I'm, I'm trying to blow the line off the chart. Because <laughs> when I think about the goodness of Jesus. Oh, come yeah. on. That's... <laughs> Uh, when, when I think about when I couldn't, when I had 25% lung capacity. Wow. You know what I mean? When, when I think about having to use a, a Advair disc two, three times a day, when I think about having to use albuterol as a rescue inhaler, when I think about it, mm. <laughs> I, I'm a blow to I'm a blow to I can't blow no more. Don't <laughs> stop me while I'm blowing. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> this is my shout. You don't know this is a shout that I'm blowing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This ain't just no air I'm blowing. I'm blowing a shout. Yeah. Because now I know, without a doubt, the Lord has brought me out. Yeah. And you you yes. recognize when he will allow, he will open the door for you. He'll open it to the point where you can apply all that you have. It's kind of like mm -hmm. I used to, when I used to go to the grocery store with my mom, this was years ago, there was this thing that I used to get called a pullback release car. Uh -huh. And you, you could pull it back and then you let it go and it would take off depending on how far you pulled it back would show how far it would go or how fast it would go. And, you know, sometimes our issues will pull us back. Our situations will make us feel like we're being pulled back. Yeah. Oh, but will we get free? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I would. You want to. You want to get everything that you can get when you get free. Pastor Stanley, every time you that that, that uh HRT pulls up, you see that sign say Lowe's. Mm -hmm. You can say now, I know. Yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. That the first 30 days that I was here, I was employee of the month. Now I know, uh -huh. <laughs> without a doubt, even the managers coming to you for you to witness to them. They want to know, why how can you be in that chair Amen. Mm. Mm. Yeah. and feel so free? Mm -hmm. And mm. we standing here walking around, and we bound like a clown. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Blew my mind. Two managers. <laughs> Two managers. Yeah, yeah we, we, we talked about it. And that's, why I'm, that's why I'm sharing it. Yes, sir. Because God has put you on display. He has illuminated you. Mm -hmm. mm. And yeah, see, that light you on lift, you. Yeah, because <laughs> you lift him up, he's drawing all men. Mm. 
to you, mm. but it's, mm. un, it's, it's unto him that's in you. Yes, it's unto him mm. who is able to keep you from falling. Y'all don't mess with me tonight. I, <laughs> Bible study is adjourned. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. Is it time for the benediction yet? <laughs> I, I just hope I'll be able to sleep because last night at the prayer line, I was up to midnight. <laughs> Your praise the Lord oh, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Will it? Will, will anybody have anything else before uh, Pastor Green goes in again? Because he might go in again. <laughs> I just like it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to my mule. I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it when he said, "Quit, get up." Mm -hmm. So, but what is that telling us? Mm -hmm. Oh, that mercy. Do what you're supposed to do. Do mm -hmm. it quick and quick. keep it moving. Just it. <sighs> Look, I feel like we're all family on the line, and I'm gonna share something with you guys. When, when I had applied for the job at Lowe's, didn't know if I was gonna get it. Just went on a mad applying streak to see who was gonna hire me. Right when I was getting ready to walk into the position that I'm in, something happened in my life that was like, you're either gonna. Focus on what just happened in your life or you're going to walk out into the blessing that God has just given me. And it was it was just that quick, whether you respond to what has happened or you walk into the blessing God has provided for you. And I had to adjust, but it has been a blessing that I've walked into. Yes, it's a challenge going up and down the steps, going out the house, but also in that, it has showed me what I can do and what God can do through me. If I just take Amen. my time, the main thing he says to me every time, if it's raining outside, if whatever, it's dark, take your time. Just Amen. take your time and listen to my voice. And Amen. That, that one situation where I either had, I was either going to walk into that position, that blessing that he was providing for me, or not walk into it. It was just that swift, whether you make the right choice or you deviate and make the wrong choice. And I just thank God that he just allowed me that opportunity and that I made the right decision to walk into what I walked into. Because it has definitely been a blessing. Definitely been a blessing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all finished with y'all own supply <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah amen uh, we bless god amen for amen. The opportunity amen. To, amen. to reflect on his word amen um more word more power more power more word amen. um god has a word tonight Re reflective of the message Sunday, but different. Um, the, the message to, uh, and the lesson tonight, the lesson is, look, there is an open door. Mm. Look, there is an open door. Uh, somebody read for me. Uh, it's about 12 verses, but we, we won't cover all of it, but it's important that we know the story. Uh, Acts, the fifth chapter. Verses 17 to 29. Acts, the fifth chapter, verses 17 to 29. If someone would read that. I have it. Okay. I'm reading from the NIV. Okay. Then the high priest and all the associates who were members of the party of the Sadducees were filled with jealousy. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. 
Go stand in the temple courts, he said, and tell the people all about this new life. At daybreak, they entered the temple as they had been told and began to teach the people. When the high priest and his associates arrived, they called together the, Sadu the Sanhedrin, the full assembly of the elders of Israel, and sent to the jail for the apostles. But on arriving at the jail, the officer did not find them there. So they went back and reported. We found the jail securely locked with the guards standing and the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. On hearing this report, the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest were at a loss, wondering what this might lead to. Then someone came and said, look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple court teaching the people. At that, the captain went with the officials and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. The apostles went, apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin. And he questioned by the high priest and be questioned by the high priest. We gave you strict orders not to teach in the name, he said, yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of the man's blood. Verse 29, Peter and the other apostles replied, we must obey God rather than human beings. Amen. 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 We thank God for the word. <clears throat> and that word is good. What? All by itself. All by itself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and I know there are so many caveats to the story where they were uh, pre teaching. They were arrested. They were put in jail. And then the angel showed up. And we've heard the different parts of the story, but we're going to peel back the onion a little bit. Amen. Because this happened, all this happened in Acts 5. This happened before, although the Bible is not chronological, but it did happen before Acts 12. Okay. What we talked about the sermon Sunday was Acts 12. This is Acts 5. Okay, so this is before them, all right? So we find that the high priest rose up and all those were with him, which were the Sadducees and the Sanhedrin. And they were filled, in some context, you'll find indignation, which is another word for jealousy. And laid hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. My question is, why were they filled with indignation when they were just teaching in the courtyard? Anybody know why they were filled with indignation? And I'll give you an, uh, a note. It, it's, it's in the chapter. They were, um, before that, they were performing miracles and signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. And they it. had accused them of killing Jesus. So. Mm -hmm. They were offended on top of being uh, jealous because the people 
had high regard for them. Amen. And, and read verse 14, because I know you're in the scripture. I know you're right there in it. Read verse 14. Right from <laughs> it says, yet more and more people believed and were brought to the Lord. Crowds of both men and women. So did y'all hear that? Yes. Men not and only, women, yes. Not only yes. were they teaching, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to their number. Anybody got that part? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't got it now. the fact that they were teaching is the fact that their teaching was so impactful. Remember in, in the scripture earlier that, that she read, they, they accused them of filling Jerusalem. That's a big city, y'all. But they accused mm. them of filling Jerusalem with this word. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so what is the indignation or the jealousy that they showed them designed for what does the enemy want us to do as a result when people express indignation or jealousy or negativity toward what we're doing and what do you say well, what is it designed to do what is what was that show of jealousy that show of indignation designed to do stop them exactly does it sound familiar, y'all? Mm -hmm. Huh? That indignation and jealousy is designed to stop you. When people say things about you, people may even say things to you. A little shady, 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 a little shady, shady. You know what I mean? Because of the impact you're having because the dedication you're showing to the church, because the dedication you're showing to your assignment, they do a little side, side, slither, slither, oh. and express jealousy and indignation. Sometimes we pick up on it, and sometimes we don't. But it's designed to do something. It's designed to keep us from doing what God has assigned us to do. You hit the nail on the head, head to see. I mean, that's what it's for. So, so you can see that God was moving through the apostles with signs and wonders. God, God already knew. And see, this is the thing. God knew what they were doing because he applied his power to what they were doing. That's why they had the results. So he knew it would bring indignation. So you wonder, you know, well, why people picking on me? God knew people were going to pick on you, but he wouldn't have given you the ability to be picked on. Mm. Hmm. Do I need to repeat that? Hello? No mic on. God knew what you were doing would bring indignation. We're the ones that get in the upheaval. Oh, no. I can't believe. Yeah, no. You better believe it. But you got to believe God knew it. That people weren't going to like it. That they were going to talk about you. That they may even lay hands on you. They, they lay hands on them. See, see Not in we'd have been way. swinging back. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the church struggles when we face indignation as if we don't expect it. And we don't. You just ain't going to talk about me. Yes, they are. They may even talk about you to your face and you just think they're talking about somebody else. But okay. they're really talking about you. <laughs> Wake yep. up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we struggle oh, with that. Glory. Not understanding. It's a setup. God set us up.
to be gifted. God set us up to be impactful. God set us up to be planners and organizers and all this, these things that we are. God set us up and he knew the people that wouldn't like it. He knew the people that were going to talk about you. He knew the people that were going to try to prevent you. He already knew. For those that may not know, God knew. And one of the things God showed me was one of the open doors that we fail to see is called indignation. Oh. And that's a door sometimes we refuse to go through when that's the door God prepared for you. Mm. Not, not. Hmm, I'm going to let that sit right there for a minute. <laughs> Because indignation is a door. Jealousy is a door. Look, there's an open door. And the first thing we say, I ain't going to do that. Ain't nobody going to treat me like that. Ain't, you know, ain't, look, this might be the church, but look here. Uh, uh, indignation is an open door. And guess what? We don't have to go through it alone because we have oh, to realize God. who opened the door. See, the door was opened by Jesus. He set them up to go through this Call the door. I'm going through something. Yeah, you're going through because guess who set it up for you to go through? Okay, let me let me move on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, you about to say something? Did I cut y'all? No, I was laughing. Yeah. But while being despised, church, while people are talking about him, God grew the church. Okay? God strengthened the believers. God showed he is God. And he also showed that the apostles are his chosen. Okay, so when the, the jail door closed, the door for believers to believe opened. Wow. Let me say that again. When the jail door closed, when the door of indignation opened, the door for believers to believe opened. That's why the number grew. If they would have stopped short of what they were doing, they would have stunted the growth that God intended. Everybody with me? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Uh -oh. So uh, are you saying that indignation, just for clarity, mm -hmm. is showing you your direction? Well, you have to go through indignation. Okay. You can, you can refuse to go through indignation, but the only way you're going to do that is stop doing where you're what going. Doing. Do. Okay. Okay. So stop going mm -hmm. in the direction that you're going in. So you know when you in, when indignation comes, you're, you're going in the right direction. It, exactly. Especially okay. in this case when you know that people are trying to push against you because mm -hmm. they don't want to see the outcome that they already see. They want to stop the move. Mm. And, you know I mean? and the outcome is your growth. Yep. Yeah. And, 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 and the growth of the church. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Go ahead. Were they teaching while they were in the jail cells also? So what now? Were they teaching while they were in the cells? No, the cells they were, open? No, no, they weren't. They weren't teaching in the cell. Okay. Because they were they were they were in a common jail, but the, the way the Bible described it, that they weren't in like a group of people. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say that they were teaching, but they weren't in there as long either. See, they were supposed to be in there overnight. So they definitely weren't in there overnight because the angel brought them out. So they weren't in there for a period of time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody read verse number 15 for me out of the fifth chapter. Say, 
as a result of the apostles' work, uh -huh. sick people were brought out into the streets on beds and mats, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so that Peter's shadow uh -huh. might fall across some of them as he went by. You, you see what you see what's happening here? Wow! This is this uh -huh. is before the indignation. See when you got that kind of power. Mm -hmm. When you see people coming out in the street, when you see people saying, I just hope he passed by me. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I his maybe his shadow cast upon me will will, 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 will help me. He, I, I, you know, we're gonna, we gonna drag him out in the street. You know what I mean? So Amen. so Peter can just pass by them. See, God moved in such a way that people expected the shadow to. Him. Wow. And this created this created a threat or a struggle, a power. Not between Peter and the rulers, but between the king of kings and the prince of darkness. Because yes. it was God mm -hmm. yes. who gave Peter the, the power. It was God who might manifest himself. You know what I mean? And made people feel good when just a shadow was cast on them. It was God that illuminated Peter. That way. It wasn't Peter. Peter won't walk around like, hey, <laughs> even my shadow. People, people want to get in, even my shadow. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't like that. But he knew it was like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Most people couldn't see it, but but when, when I was preaching on Sunday morning and came down out of the, out of the the pulpit, there were there were two young ladies that I called up that were back there with their heads in their hands and their heads on the, on the person next to them's shoulder, just bawling. Mm. They were crying, mm. not because of who I am, but because of who God is. Amen. Hallelujah. You with me? So so yeah. make no mistake. It wasn't because Pastor Green was preaching. Mm -hmm. It was because God was moving. Yes. And he created an example of the angel walking with Peter. When I told Sheila, bring that baby up here. And immediately when they started walking, God showed me that's the angel mm. that's walking her out. Mm -hmm. Go on. Wow. Amen. 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 See, Amen. It ain't between it ain't between me and nobody else. It's between the king of kings in me and the prince of darkness that's got a seat in the church. He gotta have a seat in the church. Mm -hmm. We don't understand the church if we we'll fool ourselves to think that he ain't supposed to have a seat in the church. Jesus. But mm -hmm. how do we know? The scripture says the weak and the tear, the good and the bad. The evil and the good shall what? Grow together. Grow together. But he yeah. said, leave Satan alone. Let him keep that seat. Mm -hmm. I'll do and, the sifting. And Pastor Green, yes, when you said bring the baby up, I was looking for babies. They didn't care they didn't have a church hat on. They didn't care they didn't have Louis Vuitton on. They didn't have no heels on. They didn't have stockings on. You know, they didn't, they weren't like dressed for the camera or wanted, you know, worried about what Facebook or what the universe was going to say. With look. When you get broken enough, you can mm. care less. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. You'd be like, like, like Tamla said, take me to the king. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what I mean? Mm. You just said, take me to the king. You Amen. Know? Leave me there. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, glory to God. Whew. Jesus help me. <laughs> now, so Pastor Green, you're saying that uh, I know I'm going back a little bit. You were talking about the indignation. You're saying that God could on purpose put indignation in front of us to walk through. Well, he knew it was going to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, because he, he designed the devil mm -hmm. to be indignant. Mm -hmm. Okay? Satan is by God's design. Satan didn't evolve. Okay? There's no separate evil in the world that created evil that's in Satan. God 
created everything right. that's in this earth. Below it, beneath it, the above word it. The God created good and evil. Yes. Amen. Point. So he knew, number one, that Satan was going to do what Satan do. Mm. And, okay? and he uses that for his purpose. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, when Pastor Stan asked that question, I was like, well, he said, have you considered my servant Joe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. When he, he, when knew. he went, Yeah, he do. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody read verse 16. Okay. Crowds came from the villages around Jerusalem. Mm. They're sick and those possessed by evil spirits. And they were all healed. See, now they're they coming up on RVs. They're they coming up on, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're they driving in from out of town. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, 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 I heard... You know what I mean? I came to see, you know what I mean? And and the Bible says that that they were crowds that were forming from all around. They were bringing people that were physically ill and people who were spiritually ill, which they thought were psychologically ill or mentally ill. You know, and all. Did, did it say all? Did your Bible say all? They were all healed. That, that's what I read too. I really okay. want nobody that did not receive. Mm. Come on now. God did not allow him to miss nobody. Mm. And you think the enemy is going to sit back and let you do that? You got another thought coming. Wow. Yeah. You don't believe it? Preach a powerful word. And see, don't you see, see much you'll be fending off demons for the next six. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Real talk. Amen. It, it's, it's like hitting a hornet's nest. If you ever hit one before. Mm -hmm. Or a wasp's nest. Okay. All of them were what? Healed. Amen. 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 So that's what upset the apple cart. So not only are people like eager for the word, they begin to heal. They begin to deliver. Everybody was talking about it. Blah, 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 blah. Have y'all heard? Blah, 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 blah. Does anybody know how many times Peter was jailed during this during this time and, and, and what the outcomes were? I don't know how many times, but I know he was thrown in jail quite a lot. Well, during this time, it was actually three. The first time, three. Okay, that's what I thought. First time that they just they just let him go. You know what I mean? But there there were the last two times, and this is the second time, the angel brought them out. Okay, see, uh, in Acts four five through twenty two was another time where he. Peter and uh, John were accosted by the religious leaders. So I'm telling you somebody, these religious folk, mm. they, 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 <laughs> <laughs> religion is the enemy of the church. Mm. Yes. Because all, all they want is rules and stuff. Don't do. Don't go. Don't say. But then Jesus said, I have grace and I have come that you may have what? Life. Life and, and have it more abundantly. Abundantly. More abundantly. Yeah. But uh, the religious establishment were the ones that were pursuing them. And I'll share something with you for everybody that may want to know. Israel ain't changed. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hello? Wow. Hello, Hello, somebody? Mm -hmm. Israel ain't changed. Mm -mm. Hello? I'm trying to tell you, they are still the Sanhedrin. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, ask them how much they believe in Jesus Christ. They'll tell you. Okay? That part hadn't changed. When I was in Israel, we found a breakdown of religions and people 
in Israel, the Muslims in Israel, coincidentally, population is, is coming up against the Jewish believers and the Jewish Orthodox believers. Wow. The different sects mm -hmm. of Judaism. See, people talk about Israel this, Israel that, but Israel is not a Christian place. Mm -mm. Okay? Yes. Just, just, just know it's where Christ was, but that's not where Christ is accepted. Wow. Okay? What used to be the temple it's now a mosque. Wow. With the gold dome on it, that's a mosque. The wailing wall is in place because that's as close as Jewish people can come to what was the, the temple of, of the mount. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they take their prayers and they fold it up in paper and stick it in the wall because that's as close to... But listen to this. That's how you feel about a building, mm. a physical structure. Mm. You go into this physical structure, bowing and bobbing and praying and all this kind of stuff, as if it's a god. Let me move on. I'm sorry, y'all. Now, now, Pastor Green. That's <laughs> now, now, knowing that Christ did everything that he did to mm -hmm. free us as his children, why did they? Why are they reverting back? to just a building. They didn't revert back. They never changed. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. they never, okay. Mm -hmm. they never changed. They, they didn't. Judaism didn't change. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That's why sometimes we can get wrapped up in things that are of the Jewish nature mm -hmm. with, without understanding that it may be the opposite of Christianity. Oh, no. Before, what Christ did was, he said, all those feasts, festivals, holidays, that's me. Mm -hmm. I am the for what? The fulfillment yes. of them. Okay? So if you want to go back to them, that's your hat. But guess what? I am the fulfillment. I am all that wow. that was. Mm -hmm. All that that is mentioned in the New in the Old Testament, that's, that, 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 that's me. So now I'm here. But people reject me, but hold on to those things that I sent to represent me. Make sense? Yeah. yeah it may not make may not make sense, but you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So there's a small population of Christian believers that are Jewish people in in Israel. Small population. Okay, mm -hmm. but they let us come over there to go on these Christian tours because they call it tourism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so they allow us to come over there and treat it as it's a Christian establishment when they're not acknowledging. Hey. Wait well, they got they got the garden of Gethsemane. They right. got the they got everything that you read about in the Bible. You can go, you know what I mean. And and on your way in, they out there selling stuff. They come on, but bye 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 because they they want you to stay in the hotel. They want you to eat. They want you to ride around. They want you to see all the sights. And at the same time, they don't even believe in what you're looking for or what that you're looking mean, at. Wait a minute, that is crazy. But that's what they call economics. Ah, okay, so they didn't turn that into a business. Okay, gotcha. They turned into a business. That's what I said. Business. It's business. Money, 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 money. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah. I'm just telling you like a TIA. And when you see it for yourself, you'll be like, wow. Oh, you're a medica. You come for the Christian tour. Oh, yes. Uh, read all about Jesus. Read all about Jesus. They don't, they, Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord. KMS, mm -hmm. that is crazy. <laughs> it's real talk. You know, it was oh, prophesied that he came into his own and his own received him not. Exactly. That's why we 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 have to put it in perspective. Knowledge is power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be not be not deceived on the Christian tour in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. for the presence of Christianity. They're two different things. Okay. Okay. So what, what happened in Acts 4, uh, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 10? Anybody? Acts 4? Mm -hmm. It just says a summary. They, they, they seized Peter and John, but they were greatly disturbed because they were teaching people. Okay. All right. And because it was evening, they put him in jail until the next day. But many of the people that, that heard the message, they believed. Okay. And they yeah. had Peter and John brought before them to question them, right? And they asked them again, this is in chapter four, what power and what name do you do these things? Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said, hey, hey, let's sit here, rulers of the people. You know what I mean? And then he began to tell them about this Jesus. Okay, but skip down. Somebody read for me verse 21, 22 of chapter 4, if you don't mind. I just wanted to bring you there because it just shows another time that this was a recurring instance that went all the way back to chapter 4. Somebody read verse 21 and 22 of chapter 4. We cannot but speak the things we have seen and heard. So when they had further no, th this is in uh, chapter 4, John. Chapter 4, verses 21 and 22. I think it is. If I'm not mistaken. I got it. It's John. Do you have it, John? Okay, it says chapter 4 on this page. And you want 21. 21 and 22. Okay. So when they had heard, is that what you wanted? Further threatened them. Are you in Acts, Joan? Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I think she's reading that. Right. Yeah, yeah she got it right. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead. That's what it says. So I can I can only read what it says. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Go ahead. You're okay. right. Go ahead. Okay. 21. So when they had further threatened them, they right. let them go, finding yes. nothing how they might punish them uh -huh. because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. Uh -huh. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was shown. And amen. Being, okay. Amen. Yeah, that's good, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, in, in other words, after further threatening them, even back in chapter four, when they had healed a man for over forty years, that was, that was over forty. Years, that they they uh they, they threatened them, but they, they then they had to let him go because they couldn't decide how to punish him. And all the people were what praising God for what had happened. See, God will open doors by allowing their own indecision. See, the door was open. It was an open door because they couldn't make up their mind. Their own indecision to release you and set you free. See, sometimes God will have people trying to do things against you. And they want to do something against you so bad they can't even make up in your mind what what to do, so they didn't end up having to let you go. But <laughs> well, they were scared they were gonna start a riot. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so they didn't know what to do. If I do this, this is gonna happen. If I do that, that's gonna happen. If I do this. yeah. See the apostles like Jesus, whom they represented, were persecuted because their good works and popularity were a threat to those who had the interest in the status quo of the religious establishment. Mm. People would get mad at you when you start tampering with religion. Very true. Let's do stuff this way because that's religious. It ain't got to be biblical, but it just makes me feel good when I do it. Mm -hmm. And I probably look good doing it. <laughs> I'm just saying but the religious establishment of that day left the people worse off. 
Mm, wow. But not better. See, religion is the antithesis of spirituality. Mm. Unpack that word, Pastor Gray. Mm. The opposite. That was <laughs> had to go co collegiate on us, <laughs> right? <laughs> but, but no, but but I, well, I'm painting a picture because these words have been so intertwined in our mm -hmm. social circles, in in the things we talk about, the way we talk about them, that mm -hmm. most of us may have a difficult time discerning between what God said and what people said about God. See, that's what religion mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Religion is what people said about God, mm -hmm. not what God said. Amen. Amen. In most cases, okay? See, the enemy doesn't have any new tactics. The way the enemy wants to stop a move of God is to bind up leadership. Mm. Let's lay hands on them. Let's put them in a box. Let's keep them from doing that. That ain't how we do it. But that ain't what we used to do. That ain't how we've always done it. That, that's religion. Mm. Wow. Okay. If you want to know, that's that's religion. Ain't nothing in the Bible say do it that way. But that's just the way we've always done it. I think we should keep doing it that way because that that way it works for me. Mm. So sometimes a move of God will, will come under attack because what the enemy wants to do is bind it up, wants to stop it. Because he, he knows it's going to set people free. He knows people are going to go to another level of spirituality mm -hmm. if they can get out of the religion. Mm -hmm. Okay? That part. So so when it comes to can, I guess the question is, can religion stop an actual move of God? Can't can nothing stop a move of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what we can what we can do is we can rely I mean, on can, religion versus relying on the truth. Okay. So so religion can attempt to hinder an actual move of God. I guess that's what yeah. I should say. Yeah, people use religion. I mean, yeah. religion ain't doing nothing by itself, okay? Mm -hmm. Religion just sitting there. Like, Here I am, religion. I mean, this, mm -hmm. this, this is who I am. I'm religion. I'm Buddhist. I'm Muslim. I'm, I'm just religion. You know what I mean? It ain't doing nothing on its own. Mm -hmm. But it can be used as a tool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. th 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 that's why we have to be careful when we start thinking denominationally. Right. You know what I mean? It depends on where you go. People could think it's wrong for you to stand up and want to give God glory. In the middle of the service, shh, 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 sit down. Yeah, very true. If you like to, we can walk out in the lobby, get you some water, get you some tissue. You know what I mean? But, but we don't need this disruption in the service. Huh. Not everywhere, but there are places like that. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. maybe... If you've never been in those places, praise God. But if keep living. If you ever go to one of those places, you'll know. I've been to one. I mean, it, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's out there. You know. I mean, I just, until I got the scream in there one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You, 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 you get put out. Um, oh, <laughs> no, to be honest, the opposite happened. Yeah. Everybody else caught on fire. Yeah, they, they might even send security. You know, they got the little earpieces now. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the lady standing near the window with the light skinned lady. Yeah, that's the one mm -hmm. with the blue dress on. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah. yeah. Well, Pastor Green, I couldn't help it. I was up there screaming and I didn't care. Yeah, they, they, they'll, say, they, they'll, they'll send the nurse over. They'll send the nurse over there with the nurse hat on to come to the <laughs> Get you some smelling salt. Uh, <laughs> come with a fan. Yeah. Fan me. Fan, you, fan that thing away. Fan you <laughs> sit you down. Yeah. Shush, 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 shush. <laughs> That's all right. That's what I heard. That's all right, baby. It's all right, baby. That's all right. All right. Let, let it go, baby. Breathe, baby. Breathe. <laughs> 
But but at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out. I'm, I'm back. I'm back in in chapter five now. Okay. Oh. And when he brought them out, what did he tell them? What did he tell them to do? When the angel in chapter five, the blessed for the night, brought them out, John and and Peter out. What, what did what did the angel tell them to do? Go um, teach the people. Huh? Go and teach the people. Right. Go back and do what got you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Matter of fact, go back to the temple and do it. Yeah. yeah. Go back to so, the temple. Man. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So what I'm seeing here is the spirit of the Lord is kind of a is on a on a rebel thing. It's not always easily contained. Sometimes he'll tell you to do something. Well, he'll tell you to do something that might not go along with the religious system. Exactly. Wow. But it becomes an open door. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was the door. Go stand. You leave in prison, I'm telling you where to go. And I'm telling you what to do. To all the people, so they didn't know the words of what? This life. So mm -hmm. they know about this new life. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? See, a lot of us, the rationale said, look, if I do that, they're going to call for a vote in three months and I'm going to be voted out of church. So you know what? I'm right. just going to chill on that part, right? Right. We, yeah. we'll, we'll work our way to that point. But I ain't trying to, you know, push no buttons. So I don't, you know, I ain't trying to rub, you know, step on no toes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't. People do that because they don't want to go through that door mm, called indignation. They don't want right. to go through that door called jealousy. Jealousy. They don't want to go through that door knowing people are going to talk about them. They don't want to go through that door knowing people are going to second guess them. He said, the Lord said, seed time and harvest. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do like I've been doing. Child. Look, I, it may be seed time and harvest, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to do me. Praise the Lord. Do you. <laughs> okay. But God going to do him. Amen. I'm just saying, you know, what I mean, it's an open door. You know what I mean? Look, there's a door. You know, but but that's what happens because it doesn't fit into my religion. Right. I've been tithing for years. I ain't never had to do that. Okay. That's why there's no premium or there's no no comp no compulsion. Mm. You know what I mean? Great if you do, because God's gonna give you the harvest. And it's all right with me if you don't. Because I ain't God. He's God. I'm just a messenger. Yeah. So th those are the kinds of things I want to use as a, some real examples mm -hmm. so we can understand how real things happen. You know, how we can fall in that place that's in the scripture from years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's alive and well today. That makes sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so there is a, when it comes to uh, our Christian walk, there is a sense of we can sometimes play it safe and not do what God wants us to do. True. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, the angel of the Lord opened the prison doors. All right. And that, 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 that was easy for God to do that. Mm -hmm. you know? See, God sent forth his angel to minister to the apostles and what he did was when the when the angel ministered to the apostles, what the angel said, go back to what you were doing and do exactly what you were doing and tell them exactly what you were telling them in the same place you were telling them. Wow. That was a command. See, locked doors are nothing for God to command to open. So, mm. so why is it important to remember that locked doors are nothing for God for those who he uses. Somebody read for me Psalm 91, 11, and 12. And so we have to understand that God has already told us his formula for restoration. God has already told us Psalm 91, verses 11 through 12. 
what he'll do. And he's giving us examples of how he'll do it. Let me know when you got it. You said 11 and 12? Yeah. I have it in the, let me see. It's in the NIV is what I have it in. Okay, uh, verse 11 says, for he will command his angels concerning you. Con oh, oh, oh. He will mm -hmm. do what now? He will command his angels concerning you. Concerning who? You. You. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. To guard you in all your ways. They yeah, will while they're trying to guard you, God then sent his angels to do what? Guard you. Hmm. They will Twelve. lift you up in their hands so that you will not mm -hmm. strike your foot against a stone. Hallelujah. The angels often come in a human appearance and may not always be easy to recognize as an angel. That's why Hebrews 13 and 2 said, be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have what? Entertained angels unaware. Unaware. Wow. Okay. See, God has made us a little lower than what? The angels. Angels. Okay. Uh, himself, Elohim, uh, yeah. the way Bishop called it. So, so when, so when, when the lady was was crying, I said, "Bring that baby up here." When God helped me recognize, that was the same thing the angel did. Mm. He led them out. Wow. Okay. See, I found there, there's, there's some human in this too. I found this in, in what I was reading. The angel was doing all this, right? How about the Sadducees did not believe in angels? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, man. Yeah, they didn't believe in angels. But I will tell you this. Every door God opens is for a purpose. What I was mm -hmm. saying earlier, God ain't opening no doors just because you're cute. God ain't opening no doors because you've been in church since you were 12 years old. God ain't opening no doors because you know <laughs> tongues and you, you did No, 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 no. That's not. It's for his purpose and his will. So what reason was given? What purpose was expressed as to why God opened the door? It's in the scripture. What reason was given? What purpose was expressed as to why God opened the door? I think we talked about it a little bit. For them to go back out and teach. Exactly. For them to continue their work. God didn't set them free primarily for their safety and their comfort. Isn't that mm -hmm. something? It wasn't because they were going through some things and God is going to see me through. God is going to let, you know, take me out because of my suffering. Mm -hmm. He said, suffer likewise. Mm. Okay. You know what? But I will that... take you out. I will take you out if you're going to tell somebody how you got out. I will take you out. You know what I mean? If you're going to give me mm. the glory. I will take you out. You see, that's mm. why some people may still be stuck. Wow. Because God knew you only want to come out for you. Mm -hmm. There's a river <laughs> in the valley <laughs> for me. But, you know, uh, they were set free for a reason. And, and, and this is where we have to understand God. You know what I mean? You want to come out. Pray and tell God, bring me out. I'll tell everybody about it. Pray and tell God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mean it. Mm -hmm. Not just with your words. You know what I mean? Did I give my testimony? Did I bring somebody else out? I was locked up in jail. I'm going to tell you something. I told God, I said, Lord, if you let me out of here with no bond, if you let me out of here, not knowing what the end was going to be, I'm coming back but I'm coming back to set them free. Amen. I told them that. I told them that. Amen. It was years later, but I went back and I started a prison ministry in a re-entry. I'm coming back through metamorphosis because we want to help set what? The captives free. Amen. So I told God, I was coming back. I'm coming back, Lord. If you let, let me out of this, I'm coming back. But I'm coming back 
to let others know how I got out. Amen. 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 So, Amen. so do do we know the reason why we were set free? <laughs> Same reason. Do we know the results God wanted after our release? Mm. Why God sent an angel to walk us out of idolatry, to walk us out of whoredom, to walk mm. us out of addiction, to walk us out of riotous living, to walk mm. us out of cussing people out, to walk us out of tricking people and lying, to walk us out of stealing. Do we know the reason that we looked and there was an open door? Wow. Mm. Who is the door? And what did he say about open and closed doors? Jesus. Somebody get Revelations 3 and 8. Who is the door? He's Jesus. Mm -hmm. But what did he say about open and closed doors? If I were preaching, I'd be closing right about now. <laughs> <laughs> you said Revelation 3 and 8? Yeah, Revelation 3 and 8. I know all the things you do. Mm -hmm. And I have opened a door for you mm -hmm. that no one can close. Come on mm -hmm. now. Wow. I know. Can I start again? Because Yeah. I know ahead. all the things you do. Mm -hmm. hold, hold it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for starting over. God already knows. <laughs> That's why he opened the door for you. I already know the things you do. Okay. But there's also some other things I know. Go ahead, finish that. And I have opened a door for you that mm -hmm. no one can close. You right. have little strength. Ooh. Yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Amen. Oh, so okay. so <laughs> here, here, here's the thing. That was spoken of way back in Isaiah. Right. It was the authority that the Messiah would possess. That he said to the church of Philadelphia, I know your deeds. And he put before them an open door. It's in the scripture that no one could shut. And he said in the scripture, he said why he opens, why he, uh, the reason why he opened that door. Anybody know? I think you said some of it. You have. Oh, you know? why? Can I read verse nine? Uh, let's start with eight. Okay, I'm going to start again. No, but verse 8, you just read, read yeah, read 8. I know all the things you do, uh -huh. and I have opened a door for you that no one can close. Uh -huh. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Now, now in my version, it says, for thou hast little strength, mm -hmm. and hast kept my word, and has not denied my name. So he's telling them there, I opened the door for you because guess what? Number one, I know that works. Number two, you have a little strength. You can't do it. Number three, you kept my word. Mm -hmm. Number four, you have not denied my name. These are the keys to the open door. Mm -hmm. God will open the door for you because he will know your words. He know what you did and he know what you're going to do. He also know you have little strength. You know you can't do it on your own. And he also know if you kept his word. And he, he knows if you have denied the name. And he said, because you have done these things, I have set before you a door. Now, now read number nine. Go ahead. He said, look, I will force those who belong to Satan's synagogue. <laughs> those liars who say they are Jews but are not. Hmm to come and bow down at your feet. They mm. will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> this look joy that I have. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, before we even get to 12, now you know why Peter was sleeping. Okay. Mm. Now you know why he wasn't worried. They'd already come at him a couple of times already. First time they just let him go. Second time the angel brought him out. 
I'm trying to figure out why he thought it was a dream when the angel that brought him out the second time came back to let him out the third time. But anyway, that's, you know. He, <laughs> yeah. 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 But when they told him to go back, that they said that early in the morning, come on, somebody. Mm. Early in the morning, the next day, they ain't waste no time getting to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> See, when, when you know God will rescue you, when you know God will fight for you, when you know you ain't, you're going to get to work early. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, come on with it. Come on with it. Yeah. All you demons, all you scoundrels, all you liars, all you interlopers, come on, baby doll. I'm I'm here. Here I am. Sign, seal, deliver. You know what I mean? Come get it. You I'm won't come. come get it. Because the Lord that I serve, come get it. My father, the child in heaven, come get it. Hallowed be thy name. Come get it. Thy kingdom come. Thy yeah. will be done. Come get some if you want some. Here I is. <laughs> That's where you can stand by sure and say, I ain't scared of no demon. Come get it. Here mm. it is right here. Sign, seal, deliver. You can't oh, have me unless God give it to you. Wow. And if he give it to you, he's going to give it in a restricted form. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do, you're going to have an expiration date. So do what you do, however you want to do it. He mm -hmm. is. He so, is. So, so with that being said, Pastor Green, should we should we run towards our challenges? I think there's a scripture that says. I think we should run in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, right. Not in our own flesh, not in our right. own form. Mm -hmm. Not in anger, I'm going to show them. Not, I'm going to teach them a lesson. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. You know. They showed up with obedience and boldness. I read what they said. It was obediently teaching God's word. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and they didn't care. The, the, the people could have come out there swinging a sword, but guess what? If you swing a sword and I die, guess what? I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. The next thing my feet going to touch are the streets of gold. Mm -hmm. See, everybody want to go to heaven. Y'all know the second part, right? Mm -hmm. Don't Nobody wants to die. die. That's right. <laughs> but you can't stop it if it's coming. If yeah. it's for your, it's your time. Ain't nothing you can do about it. But submit. You know, that's why they say in in the committal, with humble submission. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why it's part of the committal. That's what we do. For humble submission, we give them up to you, Lord, in humble submission. To, for you who have called this sister or this brother home, in humble submission. You know what I mean? As much as we don't want to, we'll 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 tackle the coffin if we have to. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. I mean, and that's a human thing. You know what I mean? But then we learn and we grow. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 So, Amen. to answer Cecilia's question earlier, as we close, uh, the one she had earlier, you know, they were not sleeping, but they didn't see the door open. Whether it was chapter five or chapter twelve, they didn't see the door. Open. They didn't see them walk out right past them. Mm -hmm. See, the enemy can't see your escape unless God allowed. When God opens a door, look, there's an open door. No man can shut it or see it unless God opens it and shows it to him. Somebody need to write that down in their spirit. When God opens a door, no man can shut it or see it or see that it's open unless God shows it to him. Amen. 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 You can look and see an open door, and the enemy won't even realize it open. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Amen. So Amen. why did the king? Why did the king get all the? He got four squadrons of guards in Acts twelve. Why did he do that? He'd already heard mm -hmm. these boys right here walk right out of prison. <laughs> Hello. He tried to prevent the same thing from occurring that happened in chapter five. 
So he heard about it. He put guards everywhere. Got them rotating so they can't get sleepy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. See, somebody looking at your open door, trying to figure out how to close it, but they can't. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Somebody looking at your open door, Cecilia, and they're trying to figure out a way to discourage you so you won't go through it. Mm. They're trying to figure out how to keep you from walking through the open door. Not just you, everybody on this line. Mm -hmm. That's why they call you with suspicious. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Maybe it is God. I don't know. Well, if you don't know, why are we even talking about it? Right. Yeah. That's it. You don't know. <laughs> the last thing I'll say is, have you ever had the urge not to go through the open door because of what the consequences appear to be? Yes. Yes. You know how many people don't, you know how many people don't call me no more? You know how many crab balls and barbecues I don't get invited to? <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're looking for friends, this ain't the right, you know, what a friend we have in Jesus with all this, yeah, that part. But if you're looking all for friends, friends and association, this ain't the walk for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have mercy. This ain't, this ain't the journey. If you're looking for partners, collaborators, friends, <laughs> frenemies, you know what I mean? This ain't it. Yeah. Have you ever had the urge? Let me raise my hand. I have. Because mm -hmm. I know I would be talked about. So I hesitated. I know I'd be picked up, so I hesitate. So people just sit around and say, Ray, what's up, Ray? <laughs> Ray, Ray. <laughs> what's up, Ray? You all right, man? Man, man you preaching that thing, Nigel, dog. You preaching that thing, Ray. They mocking me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions or anything? I know we we stepped over the line here, so I think I think we're where we need to be. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> it, it, to, huh? It's, all I got to say is it's necessary. <laughs> well, I, I thank God for the, I thank God for the lesson. Yes, I mean, Amen. Uh, it's necessary. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the lesson. You know. I would tell him, matter of fact, I was telling Pastor Tim the other day. It's been about a week or so ago. I said, Pastor Tim, why is it so many people choose to talk about you but won't talk to you? Pastor Tim, why is that? <laughs> and then we talk about that, Pastor Tim. Pastor Tim, then we talk about that. Pastor Tim, then we talk about that. I said, and I will tell did. you some things they won't tell you. And they say they love you. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yes, I did. Did I, Pastor Tim, did I say that? Yes, you did. I ain't, we ain't talking about the things that we, we talked about, but that's a fact. You understand what I'm saying? Because you can't love me and you'd rather talk about me than talk to me. Amen. You might have a F R I on the beginning, but you got an E N N E Y on the back on the back end. Of it. It's called frenemy. Mm. <laughs> that 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 missile was authorized by NASA over there <laughs> in Langley in Hampton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. We got to wake up, church. We got to understand what God said to. You know what I mean? And do it the way God said do it. You know what I mean? We have to come to people in the spirit of what? Meekness. And tell people what they need to know because what? I love you. Mm. And I would rather talk to you than listen to people talking about you. Amen. 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 Did, I, did I say it, Pastor? 
Is he still there? Hello? He's there, but I don't know if he's on mute. <laughs> Amen. But but I'm talking real talk, y'all. Okay. We, we, we got to stay in the book. Yes, sir. We got to stay in the book. You know what I mean? We got to find out from the book. God, Lord, what would you have me to do? How would you have me to do this? What do I need to say? The things I talked to him about, amen, I prayed about. I got a peace about. You know what I mean? And he received it in the spirit in which it was given. And we all do. I got things, and, and he'll tell you. When we had our board meeting, I asked the board, what do you think about me? Tell me what I need to be doing about me. Tell me what I can do differently or better. Ask me, you know, about something that you have questions about. Don't ask nobody else. Ask me. I think I can, I'm the one that can answer the question. Amen. So, Amen. I say all that in the spirit of meekness that, that God has designed this thing so we wipe away all that other foolishness. And we're able to walk together in the unity of the faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Everybody. Praise the Lord. Real quick, any questions, any comments before we close? I know I've been over several minutes. We all good? Amen. Be good. Amen. Better. <laughs> it might be. Amen. I mean, that's what God's word is supposed to do is, is healing for our soul. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, accomplished, it accomplished what it was sent to do. Mm -hmm. Not by me, by God. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't find this lesson. Oh, this is a good lesson. I can throw some shade with this. Ooh, that's a good lesson. I can, <laughs> man, I could just tell some people how T.I. is. Let me get, let me teach this lesson right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can't wait, can't wait. Ooh. This is my get back right here. This is my get back. No, come on. No, that ain't what's up. Well, the word is designed to two edged sword. Yeah. It cuts going in and coming out. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So you doesn't. don't have to cut. You just have to speak it. Yeah. yeah. It's quick and it's powerful and mm -hmm. it's soft. It mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Would that, would that be all, y'all? Jeanette, take us home. Take us away. Cal gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let the words of my mouth. Let the words of my mouth. Let the words of my mouth. And the meditation of my heart. And the meditation, and the meditation, of, my meditation heart. of my heart. Be acceptable in thy sight. Be acceptable be in thy sight. Be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength. O oh Lord, oh Lord, my, oh Lord my, strength. my strength. And my redeemer. And my, and my redeemer. redeemer. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. y'all. Amen. God bless. Pray for me. I pray Let's for you. Pass. Amen. God bless. Don't forget tomorrow, Deborah's birthday and Jeanette on, on uh, Friday. Amen. Amen. Amen.